today we're going to do a quick product performance analysis in Google Sheets using some data we imported from Snowflake using the coefficient add-on. If you don't have the coefficient add-on, go to extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and search for coefficient in the add-on store. Once you have it installed, then you go ahead and proceed with the rest of this tutorial. So first off with this data, we can make a quick table to summarize the sales revenue by salesperson. We're going to go ahead and use the coefficient add-on to help us build these formulas. So we're going to launch the sidebar and we're going to use a new tool called GPT Copilot and Formula Builder. So we're going to get a unique list of the values in B starting at row three. And this is a simple enough formula. We're going to ahead and copy that and add that here. And then for here, we need to get the total from column D where column B matches F3. Now we can grab this formula and that here and let that autofill. And now we have our totals. We can add some dollar signs there and see those totals there. But if we want to do some more sophisticated analysis, maybe we want to break it down by product category. An easy way to do this would be to use the Pivot Builder. So we're going to run to the Pivot Builder. We're going to grab our table here. Go ahead and make sure we delete the end reference so it takes the whole table. Then we can decide how we want to display this. So maybe we want to group by salesperson, then by product category, and show total of sales revenue. Click Build. And then we can select where we want this to show up. So we'll go ahead and do this in a new sheet. And here we can see our breakdown by salesperson and then by product category, showing the total sales revenue for each product category. So we can quickly reverse this if we like, if we want to see breakdown by product category first. So we'll just do this again. And we can copy our prompt and we'll just modify this and we'll do by product category. Then by a salesperson, and we can do show total, and then we can do and count of sales right now. Click build again. We can go ahead and do a new sheet again. And you can see now it's very easy to make a pivot table for whatever display you need to see. 